Montelukast, trade name singular, is a leukotriene receptor antagonist (LTRA) used for the maintenance treatment of asthma and to relieve symptoms of seasonal allergies. Montelukast comes as a tablet, a chewable tablet, and granules to take by mouth. Montelukast is usually taken once a day with or without food. Montelukast is a CYSLT1 antagonist. It blocks the action of leukotriene D4 and secondary ligands LTC4 and LTE4 on the cystinal leukotriene receptor CYSLT1 in the lungs and bronchial tubes by binding to it. This reduces the bronchoconstriction otherwise caused by the leukotriene and results in less inflammation. Because of its mechanism of action, it is not useful in the treatment of acute asthma attacks. The Mont in Montelukast stands for Montreal, the place where Merck MSD developed the drug. Medical uses Montelukast is used for a number of conditions including asthma, exercise-induced bronchospasm, allergic rhinitis, primary dysmenorrhea i.e. dysmenorrhea not associated with known causes, see dysmenorrhea causes, and urticaria. It is mainly used as a complementary therapy in adults in addition to inhaled corticosteroids, if they alone do not bring the desired effect. It is also used to prevent allergic reactions and asthma flare-ups during the administration of intravenous immunoglobulin. It may also be used as an adjunct therapy in symptomatic treatment of mastocytosis. Montelukast is administered as Montelukast sodium, with 5.2 mg of Montelukast sodium being equivalent to 5 mg of Montelukast. Adverse effects Common side effects include diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, mild rashes, asymptomatic elevations in liver enzymes, and fever. Uncommon side effects include fatigue and malaise, behavioral changes, paresthesias and seizures, muscle cramps, and nose bleeds. Rare but sometimes serious side effects include severe behavioral changes including suicidal thoughts, angioedema, erythema multiform, and liver problems. FDA investigation In March 2008, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA announced that it would investigate whether mood changes and suicidal thoughts are possible side effects of drugs in this class, including the popular drug Singulaire, which currently lists these side effects. On June 12, 2009, the FDA concluded their review into the possibility of neuropsychiatric side effects with leukotriene modulator drugs. Although clinical trials only revealed an increased risk of insomnia, post-marketing surveillance showed that the drugs are associated with a possible increase in suicidal behavior and other side effects such as agitation, aggression, anxiousness, dream abnormalities and hallucinations, depression, irritability, restlessness, and tremor. Drug interactions Montelukast has very few drug-drug interactions. This is due to the lack of off-target affinity towards other targets in the body where it might exert an effect. However, it is important to note that Montelukast is an inhibitor of the drug metabolizing enzyme CYP2C8. Therefore, it is theoretically possible that the combination of Montelukast with a CYP2C8 substrate, e.g. Amodiakini, an anti-malarial drug, could increase the plasma concentrations of the substrate. Pharmacogenetics. Two genes of interest are ALOX5 and LCT4S. Use with loratadine. Schering Plow and Merck sought permission to market a combined tablet with loratadine, claritin, and Montelukast, singular, as many patients combine the two themselves. However, the FDA has found no benefit from a combined pill for seasonal allergies overtaking the two drugs in combination, and on April 25, 2008, issued a not approvable letter for the combination. Uses under study Ludwig Eigner from Paracelsus Medical University in Austria presented findings at the October 2015 meeting of the Society for Neuroscience in Chicago which showed that administration of Montelukast to older rats rejuvenated their brains, returning the same functionality as that of young rats. Human trials are planned, starting with Parkinson's disease patients. 
The researchers conducted the experiment with Montelukast because it reduces inflammation in the lungs and they thought it might also reduce inflammation in the brain. Some research has suggested that decline in memory skills may be associated with inflammation in the brain. Dosage and administration The usual dose of Montelukast in adults and teenagers is 110 mg tablet taken orally a day. In children 6 to 14 years of age the usual dosage is 1 5 mg chewable tablet a day. The dose is preferably taken in the evening. Patents Singulair was covered by U.S. Patent No. 5,565,473 which expired on August 3, 2012. The same day, the FDA approved several generic versions of Montelukast. The United States Patent and Trademark Office launched a re examination of the patent covering Singulair on May 28, 2009. The decision was driven by the discovery of references that were not included in the original patent application process. The references were submitted through Article I Partners, an online research community focused on finding literature relating to existing patents. The references included a scientific article produced by a Merck employee on the active ingredient in Singular. A previously filed patent had been submitted in the same technology area. Seven months later the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office determined that the patent in question was valid based on the initial re-examination and new information provided, submitting their decision on December 17, 2009. Brand names Montelukast is sold under a variety of brand names including Montelon 10, Apex, Montine, Square, Monterre 10, Montelo 10, Montflow, and Tukast L in India, Riverser, ACI Bangladesh, Moralist, Montiva, Prover, Montrel, Lumona, Lamenta, Aracast and Trilok in Bangladesh, Venter in Nepal, Respicare in Pakistan, Montelaire in Brazil, Zycast in the Philippines though combined with Levocetrazine, Nada in Turkey, and Aaron in Venezuela. References External links U.S. National Library of Medicine, Drug Information Portal, Montelukast